A house divided in half will not be able to withstand the storm. I think that the government of a country half made up of slaves and half of free people will not be able to stand either. I don't have a good enough memory to lie. In the near future, there will be a turning point that extremely worries me and makes me tremble for the fate of my country. The coming to power of corporations will inevitably entail an era of corruption and corruption in the highest organs of the country and capital will seek to assert its rule, playing on the darkest instincts of the masses until all national wealth is concentrated in the hands of a select few and then the end of the Republic. If I had eight hours to cut down a tree, I would spend six hours sharpening the ax. I am convinced that the Bible is the best gift that God has ever given to man. All the best from the Savior of the world is transmitted to us through this book. A politician reminds me of a man who killed his father and mother and then, when he is sentenced, asks that he be spared on the grounds that he is an orphan. At the end of life, it's not the years you've lived that matter, but how you've lived them. You can't give up after a defeat or after a hundred defeats. Almost all people can withstand trials, but if you want to test a person's character, give him power. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Books are needed to remind a person that his original thoughts are not so new. Sheep and wolves understand the word freedom differently. When I do good, I feel good. When I do bad, I feel bad. That's my religion. I walk slowly, but I never move backwards. I don't care which side God is on. My biggest concern is to be on God's side because God is always right. No one will admire a person who has stumbled, but the one who was able to rise is worthy of admiration. People who have no flaws have very few virtues. I succeeded today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let him down. I would not like to be a slave and I would not like to be a slave owner. This expresses my understanding of democracy.